Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings everyone. I'm your host Royan Habibi and welcome to Saturday English Talk. Many of Indonesians dream of going abroad to Europe, America, etc. But what if people from abroad are the ones who came to Indonesia? Well, today we are joined by our lovely guests, two exchange students, Lael and Kose. Hi. Hi. So, Lael, could you please tell a little bit about yourself to the viewers? So yeah, my name is Lael Grace Taylor, um, but I go by L. I am from the United States of America, and I am 17 years old. What about you, Kose? Hello. My name is Kosei Kuramoto. Uh, uh, I'm from Japan and I am uh, 70 years old. Well, thank you. Next, so before you come to Indonesia, before you join the student exchange program, what did you know about Indonesia, Lyle? So before I came to Indonesia, I knew that the majority of Indonesians were Muslim. Yeah. I knew that Indonesia had the fourth largest population in the world, and I knew that Indonesia was known for its good food. Oh, well, thank you. Um, what then, what did you know? Um, say? I know about the religion. Uh, in Japan, it's not uh, uh, many people uh, know religion. Oh, so in Japan, there are many people that have no religion? Yes. That's interesting. So, after you come to Indonesia, what do you see? What are the differences between Indonesia and where you are from, Lyle? Well, there are a lot of differences between Indonesia and life in the U.S. I would say the biggest difference, it's very hot here. The heat is very different. Um, in the U.S., we have four seasons. And so right now, we actually have snow in the U.S., so that's very different than here. Yeah. Um, and then I would say there's a big cultural difference when it comes to getting to know people. In America, it's people are very individualistic. It's a lot more reserved. But I would say Indonesians are very friendly, very open, but that does mean sometimes there's a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, I get that. Um, then, what about you, Kose? What are the differences? Um, so, uh, in Indonesian people, to use uh, a motorcycle or a car, but yeah. uh, uh, in Japan, uh, the people uh, use uh, by uh, to use train and bus. Yeah, um, I know that many people, if they don't go by bus or train, they will just walk, right? Mm, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's different from Indonesia. We have many motorcycles and car for yeah. getting around. In Indonesia, we even, in one family, we even have around two uh, and three motorcycles. Mm -hmm. So, like, for the father, the mother, and the children. So, after, okay, how many days have you been in Indonesia, Lyle and Kose? How many days? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I've been here around seven months. Around seven months? Around seven months. I've been here since the middle of August. Since middle of August. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Kose? Um, how many days or months have you been in Indonesia? Ah, uh, uh, the same. Uh, same like, uh, seven months. Oh, seven months. So the same. So, after seven months in Indonesia, what do you like about Indonesia, Lyle? Well, I have a couple of things that I really like about Indonesian culture. First thing is, like I said earlier, people are so friendly. So, if I'm lost 
or I don't understand or I can't find my Gojek driver, I know that I can ask anyone who's around, excuse me, can you help me? I don't understand or I need help with this and people are more than willing to help. There's a big culture of community and like helping others, which is one of my favorite things about Indonesia. And then I love Indonesian food. It's so flavorful. Um, Wow. Uh, What food, uh, what is your favorite Indonesian food? My favorite Indonesian heavy food is gado gado or bakso. Oh, bakso. Okay, that's actually a popular one for bakso and what do you like about Indonesia Kose? Mm-hmm. Uh, I like uh, uh, so like I said uh, the people yeah the people is very kind and 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 help me and uh, the uh, so uh, Yeah, the people are very helpful if you need help like and are there other things other. you like? Maybe? Uh, sorry, I forget. Ah, that's okay. Then we move on to then that's what you like about Indonesia. What about what do you not like? What do you dislike about Indonesia? Dislike. Yeah. Um the uh, uh, take photo uh, with uh, permission. Oh, okay. Um, I get that many people, many random people, go up to you, meet you, and ask to take a photo, right? Um, like randomly, you will, uh, you get asked to take a photo with them maybe yeah like take a selfie right is that uh, yes. uh, so, okay. so yeah so please say to me yeah. uh, okay thank you I, I get that I, I mean many like uh, people from abroad we call them in Indonesia pule yeah yeah many pule um, will get us uh, for a photo with people from Indonesia um, sometimes they can get uh, a little crowded I think that's the word yeah then what do you dislike about Indonesia Lyle? so like I said earlier people are very friendly a little bit like what Kose was saying people want to talk with me because I'm from the US and I'm okay with that but sometimes people ask questions that are for me private Oh. Questions like about children, if I want children later in life, oh. or if I have a boyfriend, or questions about my religion. Those are things in America that are very private. And here they're very usual to talk about. Yeah, they're very common. And so it's a little bit of a culture shock for people to ask me those questions. And sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed. I would say sometimes feeling overwhelmed is something that a lot of foreigners feel in Indonesia because of the questions, because of the photos. It's a very common thing. Yeah, that's kind of uh, like what you dislike about Indonesia. So, about the student exchange program, did you two join the same student exchange program or different oh different oh so what student exchange program did you join uh, i joined the afs oh what is afs the afs is uh uh this is the 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 study abroad program to to help okay so this is uh, uh so uh only one person to go to the country oh so yeah okay you uh they only choose one person to yes. go to another country yes so okay. no help 
no help, but uh, uh, it's about a uh, volunteer. Oh. Help, but, uh, not. So for me, uh, it's it's not uh, it help uh, Japanese people. Oh, yeah. not very many Japanese people. Okay, okay, I get. Yes. So Kose joined AFS. What about you, Leo? I'm with the Yes Abroad program. So Yes stands for Youth Exchange and Study, okay. and so I'm with the Yes Abroad program. So that is for students from the U.S. going oh, to US. Muslim majority countries. Mm. So I'm actually a scholarship student. So my program scholarship. is through the U.S. State Department, so the U.S. government. Oh, from the government. Yeah. So I am a scholarship student. And then it is still through AFS, so AFS, but then under that is yes, so it's like a specialization. Oh. And so, yes, and AFS in Indonesia is actually called Bina Antar Budaya, and so that's the yes program and the AFS programs in Indonesia. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, um, how did you join? This yes program. So I knew I wanted to be an exchange student from when I was in eighth grade. So that's already three years ago because I'm in eleventh grade now. And so when I was in tenth grade, I looked for programs, particularly through the U.S. government that are scholarship programs. And then after that, I wrote the letters for the application. My parents had to write a letter. I had a teacher at school who had to write a letter for oh. me. My grades from school had to be taken and written in a report. It was a very complex process. And then I had an interview. I think that was last January, so almost over a year ago. And then I had to wait. And about a year ago from today, I learned that I was accepted into the program. Ah, so almost a year or more, like the process. The process, yeah, takes about six months. Six months, okay. You said you you wanted to be abroad at eighth grade, right? Yeah. Why? Why did you want to join? So my parents have lived in South Korea. They have lived in Canada. My dad has worked abroad in Europe. Yeah. And so I knew I wanted to be like my parents because when I was growing up, they taught me not just to think about myself or my family and my city in the U.S. They taught me to think about what's going on in the world. And so I was like, I want to be a part of the world, not just a part of my little section of the world. I wanted to go abroad and get a new perspective. Uh. Um, what's the word? World conscious, right? Yeah, world yeah. conscious. Okay, that's why mm. did you lie on join? And what about you? Why did you join, Kose? Oh, why did you join? Yeah, why did you join the student exchange program? Mm. Why? Uh, because. Uh. Uh, the study abroad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. So because so, my parents. Yeah, your parents. Uh, my parents. Uh, so my mother. Uh, uh, go to, go to Finland to go use to F A F S, and uh, my own sister go to oh. Italy use A F S, oh. and uh, my twin. You have twin. Yes. Oh. Uh, the girl. And she go to France to use AFS, and uh, and then uh, they come back and to to talk me about the study abroad. Oh, so, so. so they are very enjoyed it. Oh, your family enjoyed it. So they asked you to about the F AFS. So you yes. wanted to join also, right? Yes, that's interesting. So. Um, do you plan to visit Indonesia again sometime, Leo? I do. So I go back to the U.S. in May, and then I'm in the U.S. for my 12th grade year, and then university. I do want to have university in the U.S., but after that, 
Maybe I will work in Indonesia, but I will definitely come back to visit. You want to work in Indonesia? Maybe, who knows? Oh. Then, do you want to? Uh, do you plan to visit Indonesia after this program? Maybe. Oh yes. Uh, but uh, so when I come back, back. to Japan, I have a uh, exam. Uh, exam. To uh, the uh, college. So and I pass, so I can go. Uh, after you pass the college exam, yes. you. We'll go to Indonesia back. Wow, um, so we learned so much about the different cultures from America and from Japan around the world through Laya and Kose. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming here and coming to Indonesia. And thank you, viewers, for watching this Saturday English talk. Well, that's That's all for today. Have a good one, everyone. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.